Hi, I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be working on our little fall leaf butterfly. And this is just a real fun little thing that we're going to throw together for you and show you how to do. We need a um, pine cone that's longer, not a short, fat one. And we're going to trim its top off, get it nice and flat on top so we can put our little head acorn on. We're going to use a little round one up on top if you wanted to use a round doll and didn't have one of those smaller like cedar pine cones you could do that as well. So we'll go ahead and glue gun this guy on. I've got my glue gun and I've got it on the second temp, not high temp. So it won't take as long for him to set here. And you don't want so much that it comes over the edges. And we're going to just glue that on. And it'll also help us see where we want to place our feathers, feathers, our leaves. And that's what we want to do is get some different sized leaves. And one of the things that I did this year is I went to the thrift store and they had tons of fall leaves and all these different packages and everything. And one thing that was really neat is a lot of these were kind of vintage looking leaves. I've got this pair here, there, and you, they were nothing. I got a whole bunch of wonderful leaves for less than a dollar. I think I was paying 10, 20 cents for a bag full of leaves. So think about that when you need your different fall leaves. And like I said, they were much different and I really like the looks of these. Now these do have the plastic in them and I'm going to go ahead and leave that in them. That's just going to give them that much more support. And this one has a um, little part, not sure what you call the individual leaf or <laughs> stem part. It's not a stem, cone part, needle part, whatever, broken out right there and sometimes it's nice to remove one because you can put one there but we want to have wire leaves up on top and kind of more pointed ones like a butterfly down at the bottom and sometimes you may also need to trim this bottom part as well to kind of uh, give you a place to tuck that in and I think that's what I may end up go ahead and doing here because that kind of fights you right there and we'll see and I kind of weave it in and out of those and get that tucked in there now that's going really nice now I want to make sure that I don't have that too low I may need to go up just a little bit and then once we figure out where we want this, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue on both sides. And I found out on this project that is the most challenging part is to get that kind of glued in there. All right, so we got that one in there. Now we want this one kind of up underneath. Now because he's more pointed, he's going to be easier to put in. But the glue kind of sticks as you're going in too, so kind of be careful when you're getting him in there. But you've got to have something for him to anchor to as well. And you can use different things to kind of help push him in. I probably shouldn't be using my scissors. But that's what we're going to use. And like I said, this is the most challenging part. And now we're going to try and put him straight across from that other one. And sometimes, like that one, we weaved him in there real good. And I'm just going to try and hit him from the back without pulling him back out. See if we can get him to 
stay in there. So we got that one in a little bit easier. That was nice. And we're just going to put that guy right there. Nope, this guy's popping out on me. Don't do that, little guy. And if you need to anchor that other one onto that leaf above it, that's okay too. This is another reason you might want to set this on that low setting because if you have that on your hot setting that's going to not be fun on your fingers. And you might even want to try dipping them in tacky glue and setting them in too and seeing if that works a little bit better for you. It'd also be real fun to put them up under like that and turn her into a little fall angel. And these are little tiny wreaths. That would be really, really cute as well. You could do that, make them little, little angel wreaths instead. So now that we've got his, the butterfly's body on, we're gonna go ahead and add little antennae here. And <clears throat> I think I'm going to go ahead and use the black. Now I think I need about half of this. And I usually have something just to curl it up on. This is an eyelash mascara brush I use it to fan out my paint with. You also could use the inside of the little things they use for flower, to put inside flowers, little stamen. <clears throat> so we're just going to glue that guy right down in like that. And actually we need, I'm going the wrong direction, so we'll just flip this over. direction and just kind of figure out where the middle of that kind of is. I made a hanger for him and you might want to play with the hanger a little bit too. Wasn't and you also if you turned it into a little angel you could put something nice around her neck. Or different things like that. I wrapped that around once. I'm going to come down here. Uh, there's got to be a better way of this. What I'm trying to do is wrap it around her neck, but I want this not not to show, so I want to pull it tight and have that at the back of her neck, the butterfly's neck. There we go. And then we'll just glue that down. And then we'll have our little hanger. You know, another thing that would be really cute is to put these on a stick and put them in a plant. Make it a plant stick. 
instead. That would be cute. So there's a bunch of different things you can do with it. You know, I'm always trying to give you the basic idea and then have you improve on it or add your touch to it. Make it your own. I'm always telling you, you know, just to give you an idea and you take it from there. And of course, get all your little strings off and everything. But there is our little fall leaf butterfly. Isn't that cute? Kind of gives you, I, I really do like the idea of maybe make, turning it into a plant stick. I think that would be really cute to put in a planner. So, <clears throat> if you have any questions about anything we did today, come on over and email me at art at miriamjoy.com. Please visit our webpage at miriamjoy.com. We have a lot of fun things there for you to look at, and as well as my art is all up there. You can come in and look at all the different art pieces that I have done. Thank you for joining me today. God bless.